Hello people, today we are going to know about a new module and that is Magento Marketplace PayPal Parallel Express Checkout Payment. Now this is a payment module which splits the payment from the customer between the seller and the admin automatically. Now this module simplifies the checkout process and it allows the customer to update their billing and shipping address. They can even change the shipping method and they can update the shopping cart before placing the order. So let's come to the installation process. Once you have downloaded the module from our store, you will be getting it in a zip format. Just unzip it and then you will be getting the SRC folder. Just click on the SRC folder, you will be getting the app folder. Just upload the app folder into your Magento directory and then you are done with the installation. For the proper method and the guidance, Regarding the installation, you can just refer to the user guide. Now let's come to the configuration part. Now this is my admin panel. So just follow the part. You go to system and then configuration. And then go to the payment methods. Now this is my payment methods. So I will just go to MP Express Checkout Payment. You have to enable it. You can just enable or disable the sandbox active. You have to enter the PayPal application ID. You have to enter the merchant PayPal ID, then PayPal API username, API password, API signature, and then you have to save the configuration. So now the configuration is getting saved. So you are getting the successful message. Now we will see how the seller can add PayPal details on the profile page. Now this is my seller panel. So just go to seller profile. And you can see that this is my profile page. You can edit any information. So just scroll down. And you will see this set PayPal details. So you have to enter PayPal ID, PayPal first name, PayPal last name. And then you have to save this PayPal detail. Now this is my customer panel. So now let's add product from different sellers. So I will just click on marketplace. So you can see the landing page. So I will just click here. And I will add this product into the cart. So we already have a product from different sellers. So we will just delete this product. So we have added this product into the cart and one more quantity of this product was already added. So the quantity is two right now. So we will delete this product. And we will update its quantity as one. Now again, I will add a product from different seller. So I have selected food store. And I will add this product. And I will add this product into the cart. So you can see blue coat from the seller John Doe 
and this teletose from the cell at GN2. So I will just proceed to the checkout. And you can see the subtotal. And if, so this is my billing address. I will click on continue. This is my shipping address. So I will click on continue. Now these are the various shipping methods. So I will select Webcool Marketplace per product shipping or I can select this fixed rate and I will click on continue. And now these are the payment methods. So I will select MP Express Checkout and then I will click on continue. Now it is getting redirected to the PayPal site. So now you can see your total order summary. So this is the admin, admin commission. So you can see item number commission. So for one item, they are charging $6 and for the shipping, as we have selected flat rate and that is admin's shipping rate. So the shipping will go to the admin only. So this is the first seller, blue coat, and this is the second seller. So now this is the email ID and I will just enter the PayPal password. Now from here you can review your information. You can click on continue. And from here you can just update your billing address and shipping address if needed. Now from here, as I told you, you can update the billing and shipping address. From this drop down, you can select any other shipping method if you prefer. And these are the two products and the quantity. And if you need, you can just click here and then you can just edit the shopping cart. Like you can add another product or you can just update the quantity. And after updating the quantity, you can click here. And if you can see that everything is well and good, then you can just place order. So now the order is getting placed. And now you can see the order has been placed. And in the admin panel, you can see the transaction and you can see the transaction status, everything. So this is all about this module. If you have any doubt regarding the, this payment module, you can just raise a support ticket at support at webcool.com. Thank you very much.